Hello, this is Jeff again with another tarpon video. Hope you enjoy. And if you watch my videos, you know I'm using my favorite bait, the uh, Academy Sports H2O Express Crazy Croaker. There's a picture of a box of crazy croakers I got. I order them online. I um, kind of gave up on finding them at the store. So uh, you can always usually get them online and usually ship within a, you usually get them within a week. Uh, here I am using the Penn Squadron 3 okay, we got medium a heavy 7 foot rod paired with the Tsunami yeah, Celtics 6000 reel. Can you keep up with them? 50 pound power pro slick braid. Five feet of 60 pound mono leader tied with an FG knot and a loop knot to the crazy crook. Uh, these fish I catch in this area are anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds. And I'm guessing this one's about 70 or 80 pounds. They're the most fun. They jump a lot, wear themselves out fairly quick, and you got maybe a 20, at the most, 30 minute fight depending on the gear you're using, uh, which I'll talk about a little more later. For those of you wanting to get into videoing your fishing events, uh, I am using a, on my hat, uh, first of all I, I insist you go with a head mount and not a chest mount. Uh, the chest mount is not uh, good for fishing. I watch a lot of videos and uh, I watch a lot of people's wrists and the fishing reel and they miss a lot of jumps, they miss a lot of action uh, because their chest is not looking in the direction uh, where the fish is or the, where the bait is. So definitely work with a, a head mount. Uh, it's a very simple setup on my hat. I'm going to make a video of how I got it set up. And um, it's very light. Uh, I can, you can use a GoPro 11 or 12, either one. Uh, I'm using a 12 here. I'm shooting at 4K, 120 frames per second. And uh, that's the way you get very on, smooth, up, slow motion. For post-production, I render these at 1080. Uh, the reason I shoot in 4K is because I can zoom in, uh, crop the video, and get in close uh, when the fish is a little further away. And uh, crop in at 1080 uh, when you're shooting 4K. And uh, so you get a lot clearer picture. Uh, then shooting 1080 and cropping in. You always want to try to pull at uh, a sharp angle against the fish swimming away from you. Uh, that way you make them work uh, and wear them out a little quicker. Uh, really I think we're trying to break their will versus kind of trying to uh, wear them out. That's a, a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor. Uh, 80 pounds of thrust and I have a pedal on my little casting platform at the front there that I can uh, operate uh, the trolling motor with without uh, leaving taking my hands off the reel that shot there was a good example of zooming in 
Uh, it looks like I'm zooming in, but I'm actually cropping it in uh, post-production in, uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro for my editing. If you're using a swim bait like the Crazy Croaker Crazy or Live is. Target, <laughs> make sure you take a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, and open up that hook. Uh, when you get them, the hook is pointing at the eye. The camera's wet, buddy. And uh, it's difficult to get a hook up, especially in tarpon, uh, when that's pointing at the eye. Okay, open up yeah, that hook on. a good quarter inch at least so the uh, hook is parallel to the belly. Uh, the barb of the hook is parallel to the belly of the bait. It's extremely hard to hook a tarpon on artificial bait for some reason. Uh, I believe it's the weight of the bait is that they're able to whip it out of their mouth before you can get the hook set. It's also, there's just very few spots in a tarpon's mouth that you can set a hook to. Um, my hookup ratio on artificial is probably one hookup, one catch to maybe five or six uh, bites. Uh, with circle hooks, though, it's almost 100%. Um, other than circle hooks, if you watch my videos, circle hooks opening up or the line breaking, um, it's pretty almost 100% on circle hooks and live bait. I definitely prefer artificial for tarpon, even though I do not get as many bites. Uh, when you do, as you've seen in this video so far, they're rather exciting. So now with the fish at the side of the boat, uh, this is where that heavier leader comes in handy. Um, 40 is, I've used 40 and it works for the smaller fish. It's not great for if you happen to hook into something that's over 100 pounds. Um, so uh, I'm, I think 60 for me at least is kind of the sweet spot. And I'm using mono, I'm not using um, fluorocarbon. Um, so uh, I, I tried fluorocarbon, but I've had two, uh, it's the only line that really breaks on me is fluorocarbon. One of the reasons I like fishing the river for tarpon, number one, they're there. Number two is no sharks. Yeah, there's definitely no sharks south of downtown in the St. John's River, uh, just garfish. Uh, you will run into some sharks in the Mill Cove, Dames Point area, uh, but uh, pretty rare. The measuring stick I'm putting out there is uh, the CCA star tournament that we entered last year we're going to enter it this year it starts in may uh, you have to join cca which i think is forty dollars and then i think it's forty dollars a person to enter here's in there guys and with tarpon you don't have, obviously don't take them out of the water you just get a picture um up next to the boat with that um, cca measuring stick you'll see it uh, i make several attempts to get the uh crazy croaker out of its mouth. I should have just gone to the pliers right at the start. Uh, I learned my lesson. I grabbed the pliers right away get the to get the hook out. Um, depending on how long the fight is, the hook might be, you know, loose in its mouth and it's fairly easy to get out, but in this, this case, it's not. Yeah, you could not ask for a better hook set. Uh, it's right behind the row of... Uh, sandpaper type teeth it's right behind there it's a little softer part of their mouth tarpon do not like you messing with their mouth that's for sure i like the uh, swim baits because it's pretty simple fishing it's cast retrieve coming out repeat um really anywhere you're fishing in the river for tarpon especially and even redfish um, I don't let the swim bait sink very much, um, and I retrieve fast enough so that there's some tension on the tip of the rod, and the uh, bait is probably traveling 
a foot, maybe 18 inches below the surface. Um, so you can see uh, in this video that the fish was hitting right near the boat. That's another important thing is to keep your bait in the water all the way to the boat. And again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you have subscribed, I appreciate it. Uh, make a comment. I'd like to hear your comments about the uh, video. And uh, thanks again for subscribing and watching my videos. Thank you. I'm gonna get you revived. Okay, here we go. It's